Welcome to Sudden Report. Today we're getting our first look at the Smock TF-V8, the Cloud Beast, provided to us by our friends at directvapor.com. I've been using the Smock TF-V4 tank since November 2015. It is one of the highest rated pieces of hardware I've reviewed for Sudden Report. Its vapor and flavor production are as good or better than any other tank I've ever used. So when Direct Vapor offered to send me one of the new Smock TFV8 tanks to review, well, I immediately accepted. Before going any further, let me make one thing just perfectly clear. The Smock TFV8 tank has been on the market for a few weeks now, so this is the seven report first look, not the first look anybody has ever published on this tank. I just wanted to head off the trolls who may have commented, first look, well that thing's been around forever. What are you talking about, first look? Because I get those kind of comments, okay? This is the seven report first look at the Smock TFV8 tank. Now the TF and the TFV8 and the TFV4 for that matter stands for Taste Furious and Smock certainly got that one. Now they also refer to the TFV8 as the Cloud Beast and we'll see about that. We're going to switch the camera angle, open up the box, go over some of the specs, take it apart, take a look at the coils, fill it up with some e-juice, come back to this camera angle and take a very first vape with the Smock TFV8 Cloud Beast from our friends at Direct Vapor. Smock packages the TFV8 with two coils and an RBA. There's a 0.15 ohm V8 T8 octuple, that's eight big head coil that is already installed in the tank. Then there is the V8Q4 quadruple coil, which is right here. Let's see down inside that. And we'll show you inside the uh, quadruple here in a minute. And then there also is the uh, RBA that comes with it, a 0 0.28 ohm Clapton dual coil set up. Now the V8T8 has a wattage range, are you ready for this, of 50 to 260 watts with a best range of 120 to 180 watts. Smock recommends a range of 50 to 180 watts for the V8Q4 with the best range being 90 to 150 watts. Now the tank itself, the TF-V8, does have an e-juice capacity of 6 mil with the V8Q4 coil installed. Uh, with either the V8T8 coil or the Turbo RBA installed, that capacity drops to 5.5 mil because those things are just so honking big. Top fill system on the TF-V8, similar to that of the TF-V4, you simply find a little arrow on there and you spin the top open and there's the slot where you will insert your dripper or your e-juice bottle and fill the tank with e-juice that way. Now the TFV8 also has adjustable airflow with a port on either side. I don't know how easy this is going to be to do with it, not on a mod, but you just spin that to hide or reveal more of that opening to increase or decrease your airflow. Now as normal with organic cotton coils, Smock recommends you prime one before you vape. So let's go ahead and unscrew the tank to get to the coil. And there's that V8 T8 coil. It's got some huge e-juice flow ports and look down in there. That's an amazing amount of cotton in there. I'm going to put it on the tank, on the uh, mod first. We're going to be putting it on the Kanger Tech K-Box 200 to try it out. So we're going to go ahead and screw the base of the tank on there. And then get some e-juice and for this today we're going to be using 
grams custard from Nova Juice. And we're going to take and just put a drop or two onto each one of those coils to give that cotton a little bit of a head start on becoming saturated. And I'm going to put a little bit on each of those e-juice flow ports too. So once again, that cotton will be good and saturated for us. You don't want to vape with the dry cotton because I'll tell you what, that just tastes nasty. Now we're going to go ahead and put the top of the tank back on there, pressing down, making sure it screws in nice and firm on it. That's good. And we're going to swing open the top. Put the e-juice, and that's rather a chubby e-juice bottle, but we're going to go ahead and drip some in there. Fill it up. Close that lid. What does want to There we go. We got a little bit of e juice on there. Make sure it's on there nice and snug. Then let me see the uh, recommendation on the. Well, we can go higher than 32 and a half watts, that's for sure. I'm going to let this soak get it nice and saturated uh, check those recommended wattages again because I've turned the page and uh, come back and give it a first vape the smock TF V8 cloud beast courtesy of direct vapor okay I think we are just about ready for our first vape on the smock TF V8 the cloud beast tank provided by our friends at Direct Vapor. It comes installed with that V8 T8 Octuple 8 coil head coil installed in the tank. And so that's what I've left in there. It's been soaking now in this e-juice for seven or eight minutes or so. Recommended wattage range on this particular coil is 50 to 260 watts. And Smock says that the best range is 120 to 180 watts. So I have it set at 120 watts. This, the uh, Kanger Tech K-Box 200 reading that coil is 0.14 ohm. And I have the airflow just about halfway open and it's filled with Graham's Custard, the Nova Juice e-juice from our friends at Nova Vapes. So let's go ahead, 120 watts, the Smock TFV8 Cloud Beast with their Octuple V8 T8 coil installed. 120 watts. My goodness. First of all, that's some good taste in each. Second, that is not a bad amount of vapor. This is a very wide drip tip on the TFV8. It's a little bit different than on the TFV4, the prior model of this tank from Smock. And I think what is the case with these coils that Smock makes, if there's one tiny little drawback with this, because I love these tanks, it's that it takes a little bit of time, not quite a full tank, to break in those coils where you don't get some of that cottony taste in there. That's pretty good. That's 120 watts, the bottom end of what they call the best range. They're saying the best range on this particular coil, again, 120 to 180 watts. So let's, uh, let's, let, let's, let's go halfway. Let's take it to 150. I don't know if I've ever made anything at 150 watts, to be quite honest with you. Let's see what we get. The vapor is definitely getting warmer. The flavor is popping. And when they say that's the best range, you're going to have to figure out what's best for you, what you like, and what's going to be best on the e-juice you happen to be using. 
Because some e juices taste a little bit better at lower wattages, some at higher wattages. Man, that is pretty good. Well, for the purpose of this demonstration, let's go ahead to 180 watts, which is the top end of their best range. They're saying you can crank it to 260 watts. This model will only go to 200. So we're only going to go to 180, see what we do. And you know what, with 180, I'm going to open that airflow up a little bit. Matter of fact, I'm going to open it up all the way. It was significantly warmer, even with the airflow opened up all the way. I think I'm going to take it back down. Let's go to 125. Let's see how we do there. And leave the airflow open all the way. I think that's a little closer to the sweet spot for this particular juice. But this is really something. I'm going to be using this tank pretty extensively over the next week or two. We have quite a bit of things in the queue to do reviews on. Still have a first look to do on the uh, HS Plus Cygnus, too, coming up. Uh, but I will be using this pretty extensively. It is so vapory in here with this tank. And then come back with a full in-depth review on it in the next week or two. I want to thank again our friends at Direct Vapor for providing the Cloud Beast TFV8. Now let me see if I've got that price on here where they've got it. I will definitely have a link for you in the description section of this video on our YouTube channel and in our, on our website, in the body of the article on our website, to directvapor.com, the product page for the TFV8. They have it available for an amazing price of only, am I reading that right? $38.95 for a tank like this, that's amazing. Thank you so much for being with us today on 7 Report for this first look at the Smock TFV8 Cloud Beast. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out the rest of our website too, 7report.com. We update both the YouTube channel the website all the time with hardware and e-juice reviews and informative articles and the like. So please do keep coming back. And if you follow us on Twitter or Facebook, you will find out that way when our full in-depth review of the TFV8 has been posted. Again, thanks to Direct Vapor, and thank you for being with us today on 7 Report.